talking about today, what the Lord has to say about the book of Joshua chapter 6. Before we get started into that, we'll go ahead and get started into prayer. Come Lord Jesus, we invite you into this video today to speak through me everything you want us to know. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, spiritual heart to be open and able to receive all that you have for us today. Give us wisdom and understanding about what we're about to read, watch, and or listen to as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the spirit. Guard and protect us, our vehicles, our loved ones, their vehicles, others, their vehicles, and the animals as well as we're traveling to and from different locations. Send down our guardian angels to protect us. We thank you for them. Give them and us the rest and restoration we both need to do the work you've called us to do. Send down the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth today. We plead the blood of Jesus and pray Psalm 51 and 91 over us and our loved ones today. We pray, Lord, that you take away any and all distractions away from us so we can focus on you right now. We pray against any attacks of the enemy over us, this video, this channel, and the world. If there's anyone we need to be praying for, speaking encouraging words to, and or listening to, just show us that person. We pray that you hedge and protect us, our leaders, this video, this channel, and the world. We pray for God's blessings over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones in the world. We pray for God's favor over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones in the world. And Lord Jesus, we ask that you protect our cities and the people in them. And then we ask that you show mercy on us and heal our land. And we just come to you in repentance right now. And ask that you forgive us of each and every sin that we've committed against you and or others, whether it be in word, thought, and or action, as we forgive those who've sinned against us. We pray for our enemies and anyone listening today that has not yet accepted you as their Lord and Savior. We pray John 3.16 over them. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So if you prayed that prayer with me today, you can know that you're going to go to heaven someday with the rest of the people that accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. For it's not by works so that no man shall boast. Now, there's not enough good works that any of us can do to earn our way to heaven. It's only through that perfect sinless life that was Jesus being born, died, buried, and rising again for our sins and the sins of the world that any of us get to go to heaven. We thank you, Lord, for that person that accepted you as their Lord and Savior today. We ask that you show them the gifts and talents that you've given them and how to use them for your glory to help those around them that are in need. And Lord Jesus, we also ask that you help them to get into your word each and every day, which is the Bible and stands for um, the basic instructions before leaving earth so they can discern between the truth and the lies because the truth will set them free. And also, we ask that you help them to get into prayer with you each and every day. That's just talking with you listening for your voice and obeying what you tell them to do. It's a God divine appointment that you're here right now. God wants you to know how much he loves you. He wants just to encourage and uplift you today to draw close to him. He'll draw close to you and you don't have to know everything. Um, but God will lead and direct you with the wisdom and knowledge that you need to know as you go along the path he's called you on. He'll direct your paths and lead you to the right people that will give you the wisdom and knowledge that he wants to impart on you to help you to understand him and learn and grow with him on a daily walk and relationship with him. All right. So hope you're encouraged 
And let's go ahead and in Jesus' mighty name, we thank you and pray. And all God's people said, Amen. All right, let's go ahead and get started into what the Lord has to say about the book of Joshua chapter 6. So if you have your Bibles and would like to follow along, go ahead and turn them to the book of Joshua chapter 6 and we'll get started. Thank you. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said to jo unto Joshua, See, I have given into thy hand Jericho, and the king thereof, and the mighty men of Elor. And ye shall compass the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shalt thou do six days. And seven priests shall bear the, before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns. And the seventh day ye shall compass the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the trumpets. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat. And the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. Joshua the son of Nun called the priests and said unto them, Take up the Ark of the Covenant, and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the Ark of the Lord. And he said unto the people, Pass on and compass the city. Let him that is armed pass on before the Ark of the Lord. And it came to pass, when Joshua had spoken unto the people, that the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of ram's horns passed on before the Lord and blew with the trumpets, and the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord followed them. And the armed men went before the priests that blew with the trumpets, and the re reward came after the ark, the priests going on and blowing with the trumpets. Joshua had commanded the people, saying, Ye shall not shout, nor make any noise with your voice, neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth. Until the day I bide you shut, then shall ye shout. So the ark of the Lord compassed the city, going about it once, and they came into the camp and lodged in the camp. And Joshua rose early in the morning. And the priests took up the ark of the Lord, and seven priests bearing seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord went on continually, and blew with the trumpets, and the armed men went before them. But the re reward came after the ark of the Lord. The priests going on and blowing with the trumpets. And the second day they come past the city once and returned into the camps. So they did six days. And it came to pass on the seventh day that they rose early about the dawning of the day and come past the city after the same manner seven times. Only on that day they come past the city seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time when the priests blew with the trumpets, Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord hath given you the city, and the city shall be accursed, even it, and all that there are in. To the Lord only Rahab the harlot shall live, she and all that are with her in the house, because she hid the messengers that were silent. And ye, in any wise, keep yourselves from the accursed thing, lest ye make yourselves accursed, when ye take of the accursed thing, and make the camp of Israel a curse, and trouble it. But all the silver and gold and vessels of brass and iron are consecrated unto the Lord. They shall come into the treasury of the Lord. So the people shouted when the priests blew with the trumpets. And it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet. And the people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down flat so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. And they utterly destroyed all that was in the city, both man and woman, young and old, and ox, and sheep, and ass, with the edge of the sword. But Joshua had said unto the two men that had spied out the country, Go into the harlot's house, and bring out thence the woman, and all that she hath, as she swear unto her. And the young men that were spies went in, and brought out Rahab, and her father, and her mother, and her brethren, and all that she had. And they brought out all her kindred, and left them without the camp of Israel. And they burnt the city with fire, and all that was therein, 
only the silver and the gold and the vessels of brass and of iron they put into the treasury of the house of the Lord. And Joshua saved Rahab the harlot alive and her father's household and all that she had. And she dwelleth in Israel even unto this day because she hid the messengers which Joshua sent to spy out Jericho. And Joshua adjured them at that time saying, Cursed be the man before the Lord that riseth up and buildeth the city Jericho. He shall lay the foundation thereof in his firstborn and in his youngest son shall he set up the gates of it. So the Lord was with Joshua and his fame was noised throughout all the country. And that's the end of what the Lord has to say about the book of Joshua chapter 6. Hope you all enjoyed and were blessed by it. Till next time. Bye.